Hi, welcome to Ironman 70.3 Geelong. My name's Andy White and I'm your race director. Here we go, take two. Can't wait to see you back in Geelong. Let's jump straight into a race director update. I'm gonna take you through the athlete information guide, some COVID safe updates, some information around the venue and check-in, swim start and race morning. We'll have a look at the course, aid stations, give some shout outs and summarize at the end. Let's dive into it. The athlete information guide is the best place to go for the most up-to-date information. So please make sure you have a read of that and be aware of the information in it. It's really important. If there are still some unanswered questions for you, feel free to contact the team via Facebook and uh, please be patient as we work through your query. Following the rules is gonna help keep us all safe. It's really important from a COVID perspective this year. So please make sure you practice social distancing, wash your hands regularly, and if you're unwell, stay home. Wear a mask when you cannot socially distance. Our team have analysed every element of our event and adjusted it to make it COVID safe. It is also important to know if travelling from interstate that you check the rules that apply to you and obtain the relevant permits. We are pleased asking spectators to stay away from the event venue and observe from out on course. Having a look at our venue here, Steam Packer Gardens, we have check in and entry. Uh, athletes will be screened when they come down. Please make sure you have your QR code out and ready. Uh, recovery is also there. The venue has two exit points in the northeast and southeast corner, which you can see there. We will also have allocated a bike racking and check in time. Please make sure you abide by those times and make yourself available. It's really important uh, for our athlete flow and for our COVID management plan. So you can see it there as well, uh, merchandise on hand uh, for any uh, gear which you'd like to uh, purchase. The course, swim is gonna be one lap, uh, 7.32 male pro start, 7.34 is female pro start, and then followed by a rolling age group start at 7.42. The bike is two laps, run is two full laps from transition before returning to the finish line by the Geelong Pier car park. On race morning, after exiting transition on race morning, after you've done your final bike checks, you head along towards Swim Star via Ritchie Boulevard there, and you can see street gear adjacent to Ritchie, uh, adjacent to Swim Star. So please make sure you take your bag and your pump with you out of transition. So no uh, pumps or bags left in transition on race morning. You head down the street gear and you place your bike pump and your street gear bag in the street gear allocated area there, uh, adjacent to the swim start. We have a pre-swim start area. Entry to the pre-swim start area will be the western end of the beach uh, near the Ferris wheel. So if you're a fast swimmer, uh, come to swim start early if you're a mid-pack or slower, come later, and this will help reduce our athlete density in the swim start area. So a reminder to make sure you maintain social distance and keep that 1.5 metre separation in the swim start area. First aid will also be on hand, and we have, unfortunately have had to remove the tri club village this year, and I know that's gonna disappoint a few athletes, but that's an important uh, COVID safe measure that uh, has to be implemented. Um, so please don't bring your tri club tents down. Having a look at the swim course, as I said, it's a rolling start for all age group athletes. Four speed zones, under 33 minutes, 33 to 38 minutes, between 38 and 43 minutes, and over 43 minutes. You can see there your pink boys are your turning boys, and your orange are your siding boys. 7.32 is a pro male start, followed thereafter by female pro and rolling age group athletes, as I mentioned earlier. Once you exit the swim, you proceed into transition via the swim exit, the green line there. So please make sure you familiarise yourself with transition so you know where you're going. And please make sure you socially distance appropriately in transition. So once you've uh, uh, picked up your bike, you head out onto the cycle course via the blue line. Onto the bike course. So the bike course is two laps. You head up uh, out of along Ritchie Boulevard, up... Uh, Upper Eastern Beach Road and into Eastern Park before heading out along Geelong Port Arlington Road. 
So as I mentioned, two laps. Uh, there are two, also two aid stations out on course. Uh, so please use caution coming into the aid stations and watch your speed. There's also a penalty box in Eastern Park. So if you do receive an infringement, please make sure you uh, pull up on the current lap to reserve the appropriate penalty. There are also the addition of this year of speed humps that have been placed on Holt Road, about three, kilom three to three and a half kilometres out of, from the start of the cycle course. So please use caution. They're quite aggressive and watch your pace through those areas. They will be signed. For Aquabike athletes, your finish line is denoted by the timing map at the end of the cycle course. So that signifies the end of your race. So complete the two full laps before uh, proceeding into transition to rack your bike and your finish line uh, is when you cross the timing point. Please make sure as you head back into transition and rack your bike that you don't hinder any athletes uh, continuing on with the race onto the run course. And for aqua bike athletes, you can exit transition by the team's entry exit point. So for all athletes continuing on into the into transition, you head back in as I said, and then out onto the run course via the red line. You can see the run exit there, and please make sure you familiarise yourself uh, with the flow so you know where you're going after you come off the bike. Out onto the run course, run heads west. Uh, along uh, Ritchie Boulevard, and part past the event village and out to the western turnaround at Rippleside Park before returning through the waterfront precinct of Geelong and out to the eastern turnaround at Lionburner's Boat Ramp. So you complete two full laps from transition before returning to the finish line, as I mentioned earlier, by the Geelong Pier Car Park. It can be quite narrow on sections, especially along the Bob McGowan Path between Rippleside and the event village, so please use caution, uh, especially when you're overtaking other athletes, please make sure you give them appropriate space. This year, more so than ever, we're really encouraging you to be self-reliant. Aid stations are condensed um, and there'll be limited options. So there are seven in total, two on the bike course, as I mentioned, five on the run course. The run course will be self-serve. Uh, the, the items there are to supplement uh, and support only. Um, so please slow down, respect the volunteers and maintain that 1.5 metre separation. Please make sure you're not littering and keep the environment in which you race pristine. At the finish line, there'll be a number of limitations that might look different to what you've seen or other events you've raced in the past. It'll be a self-serve recovery. Uh, you'll be able to pick up items off the tables, proceed through recovery, do not stop, Collect your finisher items and exit the venue. Towels and medals will also be available to be picked up off the table. For teams, all medals will be collected by the run team member. And maintain, always maintain that 1.5 metres of separation. I know last month a number of athletes will have heard that we announced a partnership with Gatorade and Morton, so we're really excited to have them on board at aid stations and I know a lot of athletes will be as equally as excited about that. It's been a really tough space in the event world in the last 12 months or so, and we couldn't have done this without the uh, support of the City of Greater Geelong, uh, the Department of Jobs, Regions and Precincts, Parks Victoria, Vic Roads, Public Transport Victoria, Victoria Police, Surf Lifesaving Victoria and Ambulance Victoria. So just summing up a couple of last things, uh, street gear adjacent to swim start, so take your pump, and your street gear out of transition and place it in the street gear just near swim start there. Have a read of the ARG, the Athlete Information Guide. Make sure you're aware of the information in there and, uh, and abide by it accordingly. Uh, remember to tell your spectators to, to view uh, from outside of the event village area and out on course somewhere, please. Um, this, is, this is really important for our athlete density and our COVID management plans. And follow the COVID safe restrictions as directed by the Victorian Government and the directions of Ironman staff. Our team's put a huge amount of work into getting this event up and running, uh, so please be respectful uh, and respect the volunteers as well that are out there uh, doing a great job and helping us all out. Uh, just in con conclusion, uh, good luck in your final preparations. I'm really excited to be back. Uh, I know a lot of athletes are excited to be back, and from all our team, we can't wait to see you down in Geelong. Um, so good luck and cheers.